we've just been discussing this morning actually about leading the leaders. And so what does being a leader mean? It means that you're willing to stand out from the herd and do things differently, to stand in your power and to lead differently, even if there are naysayers trying to take you off, so to speak, or pull you back down. You're willing to stand in your power and with specific tools and daily habits and rituals per se, things like meditation, frequency, grounding, um, practicing what your purpose is and figuring it out, but then like practicing it, speaking it, saying it, manifesting it, because everything you say, do, and think, you are actually manifesting your reality here in this world. Mm -hmm. And for people who are maybe feeling stuck in their life, maybe experiencing some issue related to work or money or health, um, how, what's the difference working with them and like how, how do you like recommend them to start their journey? Yeah, um, absolutely. Most of the time there will be something that triggers them and every trigger is an opportunity to work on something within you. So whatever triggers you is an opportunity for you to reflect on yourself. Why did that trigger me? You are responsible for how you react in the world, but you're not responsible for what somebody else does or how they act. So you have to take responsibility for your reaction to things. And so quite often people won't hit a, mm, a point of change. It's either a full breakdown or they hit a wall, adrenal fatigue. That was one of mine was adrenal fatigue to realize that I am the common denominator. I am the one there in every situation in my life. Not everybody else is always there, so I can't blame somebody external. I need to take responsibility for myself. And when you're willing to take that responsibility, and when you're willing to do the work that is required, the guidance that somebody else is giving you only to reflect within you what you need to work on and help pull that out of you and show it to you in a different way from another perspective. And then you can start to reflect and you learn to do this yourself. And then you start to question. It's all about questioning things. It's all, all about not taking anything for fact unless you feel it's for fact in your body. And it's about that connection between mind, body, and spirit because most of us are operating from only our mind and not our body. And the body has so much to tell us. So I always say, but how does that make you feel? And we're cut off from our feelings as kids. We're not meant to feel anymore. We're meant to be a good robot in society <laughs> or a good worker bee, whatever you want to call it, part of the hive. And when you start to stand outside of that, you need to have some new tools so that you can stand really strong in your own power, despite the naysayers and, and what others might say. Mm -hmm. 